Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So I'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, we're going to go over some of the changes that Cakewalk by Band Lab is making and introducing some new products into the field. Let's go. All right. So I woke up yesterday and I saw that Cakewalk started introducing some new things. One that's called Nex and one called Sonar. So this is not to be confused with the older Sonar. This is a brand new Sonar. It seems like they're coming out with. Uh, they have a new sign, a new uh, logo for both of them, for the Nex and for the Sonar. Um, let's kind of go through and see what it says about these products and see how it may impact the people actually using Cakewalk by Band Lab, which is free currently. And I think it'll still stay free, but um, they may discontinue the service of it being updated after these come out. All right. So I'm on uh, cakewalk.com. It says unlock your creative potential, with next level tools. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's check out next then because this is uh, actually let's go old school. Let's start off with sonar and see what they're talking about for sonar. All right. So and uh, the picture here, it looks like the current cakewalk by Van Lab. But we shall see uh, the ultimate music production package for creative minds. Cakewalk Sonar is coming soon. Uh, reintroducing the iconic Sonar name with Cakewalk Sonar. Sonar reveal an exciting new visual identity while retaining its existing workflows. This name change reflects our continued commitment to servicing core audio production needs and providing the best all around audio solution for Windows. All right, so they're saying that it's still only gonna be for Windows. Sorry, Mac users. I know you guys wanted Cakewalk on Mac, but it doesn't look like even the new Sonar will uh, be on Mac. So um, that could be something, all right. Oh, and of course, these are like some of the things that were on here before, you know, the award-winning UI, unlimited tracks, high-performance engine, these look like exactly how Band Lab is now. They probably will be updating some of the looks in the feel of Cake, or sorry, Sonar as it comes out. But uh, currently, right now, it looks like it may be kind of the same. Oh, if they bring this back. This is this was one of the things I definitely wanted them to uh, bring back. This EQ here it has like that Pro EQ feel to it. Um, that would be really cool. They bring that back. Well, I guess they will bring back most of the things that the um, like the Sonar Platinum had uh, that they still have intellectual properties for. It. All right, so I want to just stop right here for a second. I want to let people know that this is not the same company that it was before. Gibson used to own Cakewalk, uh, but now it is actually owned by a totally different person, totally different branding. Um, even though they kept the name because uh, the name is actually a really good name. I think Sonar is a cool name, but it's just one of those things that um, I know a lot of people may say, why do, why do, why are they doing this now? Will I have to pay for it? Will I be grandfathered in? But you got to understand this is like totally separate entities. Like you can't uh, expect them not to go with a, a business model where they actually can actually make some money now. They gave the product for like five years, some really, really dope updates uh, to Cakewalk by Band Lab. And now they're gonna move on to Sonar. Hopefully it brings a whole bunch of new things to the table. Maybe some new VSTs, uh, maybe some new plugins, uh, maybe even like some third-party vendors are joining with um, Sonar on this to make it like it kind of was before where they had third-party people bringing in VSTs and things like that. So. If you expect that you'll probably be grandfathered in from the old Gibson model, I, I doubt that's going to happen. So uh, let's continue on though. All right. Studio effects. 
with some vocal sync. So you can actually, they actually had this vocal sync before. And of course, you know, like the Melodyne stuff. I don't know if they're gonna actually partner with Melodyne and actually have it inside of Sonar like it was before. When you had Platinum, it came with Melodyne. Like you got like an actual license from Melodyne to use it. So I don't know if they're gonna um, incorporate that as well. But you know, we'll see. And of course, there are uh, people talking about the program. And here, right down here are the facts. Um, replacing Cakewalk by BandLab. Is Sonar replacing Cakewalk by BandLab? Sonar builds and improves on Cakewalk by BandLab, offering advanced technology, effortless flow, and an interface that amplifies inspiration. Which means that they're probably gonna do some graphic stuff to make it look a lot better. Uh, you can still access Cakewalk by BandLab here, but it will soon be phased out. So they're letting you know that it is going to be phased out. Don't hold your uh, hopes up too high for BandLab still just being out there and uh, being supported because that doesn't seem like the route they're going to go. Uh, we will continue providing community support and maintenance for Cakewalk by BandLab until both Cakewalk Next and Sonar become publicly available. Existing Cakewalk by BandLab users will be able to continue using the software after the release of Cakewalk Sonar. In the meantime, Cakewalk by BandLab continues to be available here. So basically they're telling you, get it while you can. <laughs> so if you do not have Cakewalk by BandLab on your computer, I suggest you get it now. Um, there are probably gonna be like two different entities on your computer, like it was for Sonar Platinum and Cakewalk by BandLab. There are two separate entities, like you can have both of them on your computer at the same time. So they'll probably do the same thing with this Sonar. So that's probably their plan for that. Uh, be discontinued, yes, eventually. So we all know it's going away. Basically, once they get this up and running, we're gonna definitely uh, get rid of it. All right, here is the biggest question of them all. Will Next and Sonar be free like Cakewalk by BandLab? Next and Sonar will be offered at price points designed to meet the needs of different customers. More information will be provided as we approach the launch of these new products. So basically, it's no longer going to be free. I know, I know. Some of you guys are going to be sad, but um, this does put Cakewalk now in that running, the Sonar, Cakewalk Sonar in the running for really good DAWs. Cause I think Cakewalk by BandLab has been shunned a lot, you know, especially in a lot of the reviews for DAWs and stuff like that, just because it is free. Like a lot of people have been leaving them out of the conversation, even though it's a great DAW. I don't see why a lot of it has been left out. Um, it could be because, you know, it's not for Mac. And that could be, you know, one of the reasons why a lot of people kind of shun away from it, which I'm not understanding completely because more people use Windows and people use Macs, but that's neither here nor there. So um, it looks like these two products that they're about to release will come at some kind of price port for the customers. I know a lot of people are just hoping that it's not a subscription base. That part eh, is kind of hard to say which way they're going to go. Uh, but we will see once it actually comes out, I would say in the next couple of months, maybe we'll probably see it. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what uh, BandLab and uh, Cakewalk Sonar and Cakewalk Next do. A lot of names in there, right? <laughs> uh, it can definitely lead to some confusion. All right, what are the differences between Cakewalk Sonar, Cakewalk by BandLab, and the previous versions of Cakewalk Sonar? All right. So they kind of get into some of the things, I guess. Uh, Cakewalk Sonar represents a new brand identity, introducing a significant UI refresh with high DPI display support. So basically, if you have like 4K monitors and stuff, it should work a lot better. You should be able to see a lot more graphics. Uh, that's what that usually means. Feature enhancements and a platform committed to ongoing feature development. All right, so we all know during those five years, Cakewalk has actually come out with some really, really good updates for it. Um, whether you're looking at like the Arranger, the export options that they have in there, they completely change the way you export songs or tracks inside of Cakewalk. And you have a, a whole lot of options to make a whole list of things to export at one time, which uh, they didn't have before. They also added Articulation Lane so you can actually do like articulations a lot better inside of the piano roll as well. And plus a whole bunch of different updates here and there inside of the DAW. A lot of bugs have actually been fixed from uh, the previous predecessors. Uh, but, you know, is that enough? 
for it to actually stand on its own, we shall see. The latest cap capabilities of Cakewalk by Band Lab will carry forward into Sonar along with a continued focus on performance and stability. This was their focus for Sonar and Cakewalk from the beginning, is performance and stability. So they wanna make sure that you're able to use this DAW, not worry about it crashing or doing weird things like that, have it very stable so that you don't have to worry. That is basically the focus of what they were doing. All right, well, hundreds of improvements have been made since Sonar Platinum was discontinued. Cakewalk Sonar will be able to open projects created in Sonar and Cakewalk by BandLab. All right, so basically saying you will still have that backwards compatibility to actually open up older files from whether it be Sonar Platinum or whether it's from Cakewalk by BandLab. So either way, you'll still be able to open those up inside of Sonar. And I wonder if they're gonna be able to open those up inside of Next as well. I don't know, we'll have to see what the future holds for all those things, yo. All right, and this is one too. Um, will it, uh, will installing Cakewalk Sonar overwrite Cakewalk by BandLab? And the answer is no. The two applications install on two different locations on your system so you can coexist on your computer. So basically, like I was saying, if you don't have Cakewalk yet, just go download Cakewalk by BandLab so you just have it on your computer. If you decide to go and pay for the Sonar, um, that would be up to you, um, but you'll still have the Cakewalk on there and you can still have Cakewalk and Sonar both on your computer at the same time. I think that's really good. All right, so let's try to move on to Next. All right, so here is Next. Next, it looks like a little bit like the BandLab app, but it has like a sampler thing down here. That's good. That's good to know they have a sampler in there. Um, looks like some keys. So it looks like you can request data access for it. So if you go here and click on it, if you guys want to check it out and see what it's about, this is the perfect opportunity for you. It looks like you just go here and do a request to get access. All right. All right. So uh, speed up song creation with innovation arrangement and lyric tool. So they have a lyric tool. Does it like write for you? That is really cool. Here is the, the good thing about this. It looks like cross platform capability. So. All my Mac users rejoice. You may be able to use some form of cakewalk <laughs> on your computers without having to worry about it going through like some kind of boot up for Windows on there. So Next is available for both Mac and Windows, which is good. Ease of access, no matter the level of expertise, we understand your evolving needs and meet you where you are. So it looks like they are gonna make it kind of user friendly for everybody. So if you're not like an experienced person, you can still use it. It's kind. Of, it's probably going to be kind of like the band lab app. Anybody can kind of get in there and start working on things. You know, you can add your instruments, sounds, you can pull samples in there. And here it goes. That's exactly what I was saying. All right. So these two are will intertwine. Band lab connectivity, publish your tracks to band lab, and access its diverse library of royalty-free sounds and samples. So basically, you can get all the samples from band lab, like you could do in um, Cakewalk by Band Lab. You just download the BandLab app and you can just pull them right into Cakewalk. They're probably going to have that same functionality in this next. Uh, let's work more flow. All right. Oh, okay. Dive into song creation. Uh, use built in song templates as your jumping pad for inspiration. So they have songs already set up and you can kind of go through them. That's pretty cool. And actually just set up a song. You can have all the things already laid out for you, which you know is gonna be in that song and then kind of add them in. That is, that is pretty cool. So is it like, is it actually making vocals? Build the backbone of your track with dedicated tools to edit lyrics and synchronize them to a song's time of what? That seems really, really cool. All right, let's keep going on. Let's see, um, access unlimited samples. Oh, okay, so yeah, all right, looks like right here on this side. Yeah, so you have like the the band lab stuff here on the side, oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Customize your sound, easily shape unique sounds and beats of sampler and pad controller features. See, this is what I've been wanting inside of Cakewalk by Band Lab, a sampler and they have it in the next, which is really, really cool. It looks like they have a sampler 
and a pad control. And look like you can edit the samples and tweak them. That is really cool. So next might be something really, really interesting um, for people trying to learn how to use all this stuff. Cause it looks like you can make songs. You can actually do samples in here. You can actually cut samples, it looks like. And you can write stuff really easy. All right, uh, experience fluid integration, browse and tag your favorite AU and VST plugins. Okay, so you'll be able to tag your plugins. Oh, and have it in a little list, that's cool. So you can have like a, a whole favorite section for next. Man, this looks, looks like it might be really good. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is good for the brand of Cakewalk? Do you think that this Next and uh, the Sonar are the right way to go? Um, what are the pricings that you guys think it will actually be? What do you think the price will be for these uh, two new additions to Cakewalk? I'm just curious, but definitely put those below in the comment section. Um, let me know if you feel like this is taking you away from uh, Cakewalk entirely? Will you go another DAWs route? Like, will you try other DAWs? Will you stay with Cakewalk and actually uh, pay? I know a lot of people will be upset about um, the fact that they have to pay for Cakewalk again after the whole Sonar Platinum with Gibson thing, but you have to understand these are totally different entities that own these uh, products now. BandLab has actually given us it for free for a while, and now they have investors that are, you know, wanting to see what they can do and build on that. Um, I don't necessarily see an issue with paying for it, but it is kind of matters the price range that it comes out with. Um, if it's like in that higher price range, that 200, 300 range, I don't, I don't necessarily see a lot of people going toward this uh, sonar thing. If it's subscription based, I don't see people really going that route either because a lot of people are so tired of subscription based products. Um, so, I mean, this kind of matters where they, they, they range the prices, because if you're going to put it for 200 or 300 dollars, I know a lot of people will say I'll just buy FL Studio or Studio One or even Reaper because those are those options are a lot cheaper and they come with a whole lot of stuff that people already know and recognize how to use. So we'll see what the future holds for uh, Cakewalk. But man, I'm glad you guys actually stopped by. Let me know your comments and concerns below in the comment section. Um, if you wanna check this out for yourself, you can just go to cakewalk.com. If you wanna do the next thing, make sure you are subscribing to see if you can do the beta or be a beta tester for it. But other than that, that's pretty much the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, it's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, O. Till next time, people. Peace.